Yeah. The, the point about all this is that it's much worse than you think. The, the real uh, exposures to people um, started with the weapons, with the nuclear weapons testing. And that caused an increase in cancer of at least 30% in most countries. And we can show that this is a, a value of about 60 million people who, who will have caught, uh, developed cancer as a result of this. The fertility in the world is reducing. The levels of congenital malformation are increasing. And uh, Madame Vivassi says that we should do all these things to, um, to try and stop this from happening because we have a critical situation for life on Earth. There is no question. But the, we're not, we cannot expect these people who we are talking about, the WHO and the IAEA and the Article 35 group and all of these people in power, we cannot expect them to do something because we ask them to. There seems to be an absolute glass barrier between what the people want and what gets done. It, it's an impossible situation because we are living through the worst public health scandal of history of the history of life on this earth. And yet nothing seems to be possible to do. Well, let me make some suggestions. I'm going to talk soon, and I won't go on and hold the microphone, so then. But what I do say is this, that there are two things that are needed, absolutely, essentially. And one, one is that there has to be funding for independent research, because there is no independent research. And the people who are independent researchers, like my colleague Yuri Bandashevsky, like me, like the other people who work, and there are very few of these people, they work for virtually nothing. And it gets very difficult to function. They cannot me obtain equipment. They cannot, cannot measure things. And it is a, on these people that the future of this planet and life on it, survive, survival on it, depends. And they do not have funding to, to get younger people, to teach these younger people how to do the studies that are necessary to do, because we are all getting old, you know, and we can't, we're not going to live forever, and maybe we'll just get bored with it all and go fishing. But I have to say that something has to be done along those lines. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing that we can do is we can use the law. Now, I, as an expert witness, I've won maybe more than 20 cases in, in, in seriously big cases, millions and millions of dollars of damages I've won using the ECRR risk model and using the arguments that we've heard here today. But these, these court cases never get out into the media because they're always settled. As soon as the companies know, or the nuclear industry know that they're going to lose, they settle the case by writing a big fat check. But we can take court cases through, through human rights um, legislation, through international human rights legislation, and through the legislation that's implicit in URATA. And when I give a talk later, I'm just taking a bit of time, I will talk about that some more. But I have to impress upon you, it is extremely serious. It is not, it's not something that we can afford to ignore. Thank you. Thank you.